Okay, give me one second. Okay. Uh, and Lou, I don't think, have we met before? Yes, we have. Well, we have once anyway. Once and okay. uh, my thesis presentation a little while ago. Okay, that's right. Hello. Can you see my screen? And I said the same thing. Now, on your green eggs, I love green eggs and ham. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, I, you know, I thought it was going to be, I didn't know what it was going to be, to be honest. I thought right. it was going to be. Whoops. It's like so dumb, but you can make it into something very cool. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, I really, I really actually thought, oh, I was like, oh, this is going to be too, too easy, but I could actually get really fun with it. So I appreciated that. Yeah, great. Um, uh, so thank you uh, for the idea and suggestion for it. Can every, can you see my screen okay? Yes. Okay, great. Um, so green eggs and ham. Um, I tried to, essentially the experience I wanted to create is, uh, you know, as interactive as it could be, but it's mostly a point and click, uh, to be honest, kind of experience. So up at the top, something I just added, just to make it a little easier to navigate through, sort of just the interactive components um, listed out uh, using the tag of anything with Dr. Seuss. Um, you know, so the first part that I have is uh, I decided that I was going to uh, link every line of uh, green eggs and ham, which took quite a while, but we got it done, and I, I added the green text for any time it said green eggs and ham because I thought it looked cool. Um, and so for in order for people to explore that, so if I were to click on, you know, I am Sam, I also added for every uh, new tiddler that it linked to, I added the tags of all the words in that specific sentence. And of course, when I added those tags, you can see for M, anytime that that popped up again, uh, in another variation within the within the story, uh, which I thought was I thought was pretty cool. You know, it's an interesting way of of viewing such a simple piece of literature uh, that we all know so well. It's just an, a new way that I've never thought about looking at it before, and it really emphasizes the idea of just it only being 50 words, just interplayed in all these different ways. Um, throughout. So that was sort of just my linking of it. And then I got a little kookier with it, you know, so Dr. Seuss is a highly visual uh, author. So I decided that I wanted people to be able to see the book. Um, so I was able to import um, a PDF file uh, not PDF, a JPEG file to uh, to the different images. And uh, Professor Schneider, your um, a, your code, I guess, for being able to go through the uh, yeah. the images was quite useful for this. Good, good, great. Now that's like, yeah, that was a lot of, yeah. <laughs> yep. So you know, I uh, I modified it to meet. To meet this need, but I thought it's as close to without you being on a you know a, a nook or something to the ability of being able to flip through sort of the pages of the book and experience it that way and being able to reset it and everything. And then one of the other components, this is this is personally probably my favorite one, and, and that I did is is sort of this uh, quiz like like teen magazine style quiz that I created um, using sort of radio dial numbers to figure out which character you are out of the two characters in the book. Okay. Uh, I just thought it was a way to just be slightly more interactive and, and sort of engage the end user a bit more um, because, you know, they can see that they're mostly A's or mostly B's and then depending on what that meant, how adventurous you were because, you know, Sam I Am is encouraging uh, the protagonist to be more and more adventurous, and then it uh, links to, you know, the different characters. It's got a little picture of it so you can see. Um, and I just, I broke down the types of uh, the words they used, you know, or something kooky about it uh, that would fit in. So that was, I don't know, I thought a, a way I saw 
another tiddly wiki that sort of utilized uh, the quiz idea, and I thought that was pretty cool for this, so I tried to implement it um, for for these purposes. And then I was trying to figure out what else to do um, in it, so then I came upon this uh, this plugin that allowed me to uh, transclude some some raw data, um, and the raw data being the number of times the words appeared, uh, and then correlating the number of times it appeared to the size of the word in this sort of word cloud, you know, um, which fits nicely sort of with the, uh, the tagging idea of being able to see how many times the word appears um, in, in the story. So you can see that like I is one of the larger ones, whereas like thank is one of the smaller ones or if. Um, and just another sort of visual way um, to to view that, and then I linked it to the tag so that you know the the connection could um, be made. Where'd you find that plugin? Uh, where did I find that plugin? I think I typed in like visual tiddly wiki and went exploring through the Google groups uh -huh. um, and found it, and and just sort of messed around with it because it's a little finicky. Mm -hmm. Like it, it doesn't like certain characters too long, or doesn't like too many characters, which is fine for green eggs and ham, but might be an issue for, uh, you know, for some some longer literature. <laughs> but uh, but it worked out pretty well, and I think it's a, I just think it's an interesting visual to present. Yeah. So from I mean, yeah, I love the visual absolutely. Um, what's interesting too is the is the idea that you kind of poke around and find a plugin and use it and see what happens. And that's the spirit. <laughs> and that's, that's great. And that's like one of the prime objectives, the mm -hmm. objectives of the course was just to do that and to get comfortable with that. Cause you don't know what you're going to get and it's not going to work and et cetera, but you just have to do it. Right. Just, yeah. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the word cloud and the quiz were really the two best examples of that because the quiz, like trying to figure out how, like getting the, getting it to reset and like the buttons to work i had to like poke around a lot and and look at other people's examples and see how they were doing it yep. um to get it to work so i mean i found that to be sort of the the theme of my work throughout the semester was poking around at what other people were doing uh, and then transporting it and and working on it to to fit my needs that's music to my ears <laughs> <laughs> yeah and yeah, so it's great to see. Yeah, that's excellent. So cool. Yeah, so so that's um that's essentially you know sort of sort of what I came up with. I also added um you know you can listen to Green Eggs and Ham because it it is one of those books that like you like to listen to it um because yep. it has a melodic sort of tone to it um when you're when you're hearing it. So just like trying to engage like different senses senses or, or, or experiences throughout it because um, I that's just like what I would like to experience something so familiar in an unfamiliar way um, so I hope I accomplished that I think I did at yeah. least in part so um, pretty do you have a, yeah do you have <laughs> a, um, you don't a home do you know how to set like so that tiddler mm -hmm. interactive components uh -huh. You should set that to your home. So if you highlight the name of the tiddler. Okay. So the, any of the tiddlers? The interactive components. Tiddler. Oh, okay. Yep. Just highlight that and then hit the control panel. Okay. And then info. All right. And then where it says default tiddlers, paste and just paste now. Oh, okay. Got it. So. Up, up, up. yeah. Try yep. default tiddlers. Box. Here. Yep. And just uh, undo, get undo rid of the story list? The, everything, get rid of all of that and paste. Oh, okay. You might need double square, yeah. And you probably need double square brackets around that. Got it. Okay. And now you can, uh, you don't even have to close it and say, and to go ahead and save it. And then if, yeah. you, click, if you click tools, uh, um, it's gonna be on your control panel. There right. we go. And bring out the home button. Oh. to the left. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Click the, click the little button to the left. Uh-huh. 
the little tick. Yeah, box. The little yeah. Tick, tick. There we go. Yeah. And oh, now got it. Yeah. Got it. Little home. And did you do any kind of like journal or description of what you did and what you got here? Oh, I did not. I didn't realize. Yeah, if you could, just do a new title. Sure. Call it like journal or my journey, sure. whatever you want, and say, "Oh, I did this. I did this. I did this." And to the okay. extent, and to the extent that you can say, "Here's some listing. Here's some tagging. Here's some transcribing. Sure. Here's some." <laughs> I, I remember the other ones: templating, templating. Uh, yep, linking. Linking. Yeah. Five of them: three L's and two T's, or two, three T's. There's, yeah, those five. Yeah, three T's. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be great because then that's like sure. okay. Perfect. Yeah. So that's, um, yeah, that's great. The, um, yeah, it's fun. It's funny that you can do that. The, and I think, can you go back to your interactive components? The first one? Sure. Um, yep. all the, all the, the lines. Okay. The lines in, um, yeah. Do, 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 do. That one. And can we look at that? The code for that? Sure. Sure. Um, Here you go. Okay. That's what I thought it would look like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's um, that does take a while. It did take a minute. It it, it did. It did. Yeah. Um, you know, but I was trying to think if there was a way to to do that with templating, but I didn't think there was. Not with templating, you would the, the way to do it, and then how did mm -hmm. you? And then like click on that first line. Did you hand tag them? Did I? So you click on. Hand, them and oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You yep, I hand tag them. You enter the tags by hand, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, and that works. So you could have um, okay. Um, in a spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Did you use do you use like spreadsheets at all ever? Yeah. Yeah. yeah did you do the import when we did the yep. import? You did, right? Yeah. So you yep. take all the lines and put them in the first column of a spreadsheet. Okay. And then that becomes right. title. <laughs> And so right. then you've got tiddlers, and then you put another column in with like a sequential number, like one to, I think there's 72 lines or something. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you have all the lines as a tiddler, except if they're duplicates, and that's a problem that you have to right. solve. So you create a third column called line number, you know, and that oh. becomes the tiddler, and then you put the actual line in another field, and then like caption. And, and then what I did at one point, and um, this is a feature in Google Sheets called Split, mm -hmm. I think. It might only be in Excel, but you just go okay. split the line and it puts each word in its own column. Oh yeah, I, I actually I actually tried some version of that out. Okay. It didn't work. No, I, I, was, I was just shaking my laptop by the time yeah. I attempted. So what you did is actually faster than getting yeah. it in the spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but no, that's, that's good to that's good well, to know. That. Making... Yeah, it's just because I, I, I think I did it, and I think I gave up too. It's like oh, but then it's like you can eventually. Get, it's like annoying because you have like word one, word two. It's just a really annoying thing. But yeah, you know. but yeah. what I what I did enjoy about like a lot of this was actually doing a lot of the manual stuff. I mean, not just in yeah. in this example, but the other exercises as well was just like actually doing it the sort of the old fashioned way, for lack of a better term. Yeah, the brute, uh, they call it the brute force way. Yeah, because it just it helps hardwire it a little bit more. I agree. Um, yeah, to under to understand it for the future, but I do appreciate obviously for for future ones uh, shortcuts. So, <laughs> but yeah, and I usually you do it brute force the first time, and then I usually yeah. find if I try to put it in a spreadsheet, it takes me three to four times longer than to do it by hand. Mm-hmm. And the second time takes me twice as long, and the third time the same amount of time. But the fourth time, you begin to save time. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, it's just sort of that repeated exposure. <laughs> yeah, so great. Well, thank you. It's so nice to see this project. Awesome. And, um, and, thank uh, you. Yeah, and uh, it's great. Oh, great. Thanks. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you, and I'll get that journal up. Okay, yeah, great. Okay. Thanks. Great. And thank who's you. 9 o'clock?